Miami, Fort Lauderdale. This is Eyewitness News at 6, South Florida's number one 6 o'clock news. Jimmy Johnson's championship days began here with the Miami Hurricanes. Then he took his winning ways to Dallas and made the Cowboys national champions. Now it is official. He's coming back with Super Bowl dreams for the Dolphins. I knew when I signed my name on the dotted line, the expectations are going to be very high. But the expectations won't be near as high as what I have for myself. Jimmy Johnson gets the job, becoming the Miami Dolphins' third head coach. A successor who's no stranger to South Florida. We have extensive team coverage on the start of the Johnson era, including Jimmy Cephalo and Frank Ford, who were both at Dolphins camp for the news conference. Let's begin with Jimmy Cephalo and more on that actual announcement. Well, Dwight, uh, when Jimmy Johnson walked to the podium, of course, no one was surprised uh, since the beginning, since uh, Don Shula's uh, resignation, retirement, call it what you will, uh, last Friday. Uh, much of South Florida was waiting for Jimmy to be announced as new head coach of this football team. Today, he said a couple of things. One, he will not have a major overhaul of talent. Two, he's going to meet with the, the football team tomorrow to try to give the philosophy. But uh, from the very beginning, from the moment we knew this, this news conference had been scheduled, we realized the man at the top, Wayne Heisinger, had all the confidence in the world in one, Jimmy Johnson. I'm pleased to announce uh, on behalf of the Miami Dolphins that uh, today, a few minutes ago, we signed a four-year contract for Jimmy Johnson to be the head coach of the Miami Dolphins. With that announcement, Jimmy Johnson becomes the third head coach in Miami Dolphin history. His first day on the job was marked with the confidence we've come to expect from him. I knew when I signed my name on the dotted line, the expectations were going to be very high. But the expectations won't be near as high as what I have for myself. His philosophy is a simple one. He plays hard and expects the same from his players. I love the game of football. Uh, I. Uh, I love the competition. Uh, I love the discipline. Uh, I take tremendous pride in putting a team on the field that is disciplined, uh, that plays with a fever, that, that takes the field and, and plays with a passion because that's the way I coach the game. I coach the game with a passion. Johnson said today that he will not overhaul the football team. Still, Dolphin fans can expect subtle changes. Those that remain will have to conform to Johnson's view of top players. I like guys that work hard and play good. And, uh, and I also expect uh, guys to, to do it the right way. Of course, the right way now becomes Jimmy Johnson's way. He'll begin immediately. He is in charge, as Wayne Heisinger told us today, uh, of the day-to-day -day operations of the football team exactly the same way uh, Don Shula was. A uh, side note her today, uh, Jimmy Johnson said that he had spoken to Don Shula yesterday and uh, he had the confidence of the former coach and he fully expected to talk to uh, Coach Shula about any changes that uh, he might want to make with this football club. Certainly, uh, I think Jimmy learned from his experience in Dallas where when he uh, took over for uh, Tom Landry, some believed in the community that he not, uh, did not show the correct respect. Uh, that was not the case here with Don Shula. Uh, and so Jimmy Johnson, now the third head coach of the Miami Dolphins. What makes him so special? Well, let's take a look at some of the vital statistics involving this new coach. He is 52 years of age. His pro record, 44 and 36. But remember, 15 of those losses came in his very first season with Dallas while he was rebuilding. In the playoffs, this is the most important number on the board, 7 and 1. And, of course, two Super Bowl championships. The contract, a four-year deal worth $8 million, and part of that, a signing bonus. So uh, what we've been waiting for for the past week came to pass today. Jimmy Johnson, the new head coach of the Miami Dolphins. Standing just outside of the Dolphin facility is Frank Fort, and he's got, uh, I believe, the general manager of the Miami Dolphins with him, Eddie Jones. Frank? Well, we'll have Eddie in just a moment, Jimmy. First of all, I, I don't know about you, but I was shocked that they came right out and said what the contract figures were. That's a rare occurrence in professional sports these days. Certainly none of the Dolphin players were surprised that Jimmy Johnson is the new head coach, but there's one thing. When practice starts, they better be ready to compete. The man who took over the reins of the Miami Dolphins today is known as a tireless worker and a perfectionist. And those who have played for him in the past know it best. Expect uh, a, mo a more upbeat practice, uh, a lot of hard work, um, a lot of hard work, and uh, expect to win day in and day out. The thing that I think he's going to really instill um, and want to uh, emphasize with the players is, is, uh, is the discipline, is the work ethic, is his... Is, is, uh, going out there and playing hard on Sundays and then that starts in practice and, and uh, uh, he makes uh, he makes and emphasizes the point that that all uh, uh, the practices will be uh, be pretty intense so the Dolphins will have to get used to Jimmy Johnson although owner Wayne Heisinger did ask his best player what he thought of Jimmy 
Well, Wayne did talk to me yesterday and thought that you know this might happen when I'd be comfortable. And I was like, you know, I mean, he it's his decision, it's his team, you know, and and uh, uh, I think it's it's a positive step, and you know, he's gonna be a guy that's that's may get us to the point where we can win a championship. I mean, that's what everybody's goal is. Johnson made it clear today everyone on the Dolphins roster will be evaluated and critiqued, even free agent to be Brian Cox. Every player has got to meet the guidelines and the focus of the team goals. And anybody that detracts from the team goals and the team's focus uh, is out of line. And so everybody's got to understand that. Some people are nervous about what he's going to do, but like I say, you can't worry about what's going to happen. I mean, what's going to happen is going to happen. Though. But, uh, you know, if you're here, you know, he's expecting the best and the most out of everybody. So he's that type of coach and uh, very enthusiastic, and uh, he goes for the jugglers. Lewis Oliver, the Dolphins' safety, and now with me is general manager Eddie Jones. Eddie, all parties expressed surprise at how quickly this was done. Was it that much of a layup once the meeting started? It, uh, we didn't expect it to be a layup, Frank, but I was there. Uh, when you have a person talk to you in a negotiation, you have a sense about whether they're sincere or insincere. And I think after two hours with Jimmy, the feeling uh, on our side of the table, Wayne and Brian and myself, was we had the real deal. So it, from there on, it was uh, a hope that we could get the deal closed. And you certainly did it in a hurry. Eddie, thanks for coming out. We appreciate your time. Eddie Jones, right. the Dolphin general manager. Uh, back to Dwight in the studio. Dwight. Okay, Frank, thank you for that live update from Dolphins headquarters. Will definitely create new excitement for doll fans. Souvenirs are becoming a hot ticket again, and seats at JRS will be even tougher to find. It was only a few years ago, from 1984 to 1988, that Johnson coached the Miami Hurricanes and packed the Orange Bowl. He went to uh, went to two uh, and three in bowl games while he was at the University of Miami, including one national championship during an undefeated season. So now, doll fans are hoping for that same kind of success. Peter Dench is live with more on that part of the story for us. Peter. Diana, just a few months ago, Jimmy Johnson, as a TV analyst, remarked that the Miami Dolphins had a lack of discipline. Fans tonight are hoping that he will instill more of that, and they want what Jimmy Johnson has savored in recent years, a Super Bowl victory. Tony Gonzalez and Alexandra Puricelli couldn't get past the front door at the Dolphins' training facility. Like other fans lining Southwest 30th Street, they were told access was restricted. Gonzalez and Puricelli drove here from Miami. They both graduated from the UM in 92. And remember Jimmy Johnson's coaching days there up until 1989. Now they're excited about his return. I'm very excited, very excited about Jimmy. I've seen his work. I'm an alumni from University of Miami. I was there for his championship years. And I think he'll bring the winning tradition over to Miami. It was nice to, to have him at UM. And now it's going to be, you know, even more special having him in the NFL. For others here on the outside looking in, some of them hoping they could get Jimmy Johnson to sign a football there was one clear consensus. Well, we're looking forward to see the Dolphins win. That's what we're looking for. We're Dolphin fans, and we want to see the Dolphins win. To some, Johnson represents an end to frustration as a serious Finns fan. I think he's terrific. Why? Well, I think he's got more, dis have more discipline than Shula. I think he's got a good, strong nucleus here of uh, players with Dan Marino and so forth. I don't think he's got to go back into the draft and make some monster trades. And others who remember Johnson's glory days at the U.M. are hungry for the same thing to happen to the Dolphins. A change is good for the whole team. It'll make the um, players fired up. It'll make everybody fired up. It'll be a winning team now, I think. As I think if the fans see some progress and see some change, that's what they were looking for. That's going to bring them back, and that's going to sell some skyboxes and some seats. Emmitt Smith says you're going to have, have a dangerous, dangerous team. team if you're yeah. Well, if we get a couple of Emmitt Smiths, we can have a dangerous team. <laughs> A striking comment from Jimmy Johnson today, who said it's an incredible feeling when three presidents compliment what you have done. Sort of like that U.S. Army commercial, he wants the Dolphins to be the best they can be, and so many fans say they believe it is more than rhetoric. Diane, back to you. Very high expectations all the way around. Peter, thanks. And for Johnson, this is not only a return to his college roots, he is literally coming home. His place in Tavadier in the Middle Keys is where he calls home, and that's where he spent much of this week. Johnson has always said that he loves living in South Florida, and that's why this job was so attractive. And you could say that his second home is on Miami Beach, because that's the location of Johnson's Three Rings Bar and Grill. Geneva Brew joins us from there, where the coach's life is on display. Show it to us, Geneva. Dwight, I have to tell you, it's still a little strange to hear and to say Dolphins head coach Jimmy Johnson, but we'll get used to it fast, and I'll tell you why. Just looking at the walls here, walking around, all the memorabilia of players that Jimmy has coached and championship teams that he's coached, 
you have to understand and you have to realize that Jimmy Johnson is the man and there was no better choice. Everywhere you look in Jimmy Johnson's Three Rings restaurant, you are constantly reminded of the mammoth accomplishments by one man in such a short period of time. His drive, his motivation, and not only that, his, his proven success, what he's done in Dallas, or um, what he did here for us in the University of Miami. I mean, he's obviously a winner, and that's what we need here in Miami. Johnson's no stranger to replacing legends. His NFL career began with the Dallas Cowboys in 1989 when he succeeded Tom Landry. And you've heard this before, in his five-year tenure, he took the boys to back-to-back -to -back Super Bowl victories. Now, as many Dolphin fans will tell you, he's the hands-down choice to do the same here. I mean, Shula here is a legend, and it needed somebody with a stature of Jimmy Johnson to replace him. And I just don't think, other than Steve Spurrier, I think that Jimmy was the man all along. Yeah, he's got some big shoes to fill. Big Shula filled. <laughs> Johnson's football career has come full circle. Now he's back where he belongs after having left a part of his legacy everywhere he went, with the Hurricanes, then with the Cowboys. Now it's the Dolphins' turn, a team deserving and well overdue. Welcome back, Jimmy. Now you can be where everybody knows your name. I look forward to great things. I was just saying to my brother-in-law, I said, I'd like us to go to the Super Bowl, please. <laughs> That's what I really want. Do you think it can happen with Coach Johnson? I do. I really do. Based on his past record, I believe that he can do it. If anyone can do it, he can. And Dwight, here I have a replica of the Cowboys Super Bowl 27 ch uh, championship ring uh, against the Buffalo Bills. And I can think of a few Dolphin players who can get used to this, and a few fans, too, I think, who can get used to seeing this. And that is a replica. That's, that's no one's real ring, well, right? I that, think my that's whole kind of big. Yeah. Here. Uh, do they plan to add any tables there at the Three Rings as a result of the popularity and the increased popularity? Uh, I would of say so. I would say so. This place was pretty packed today. Everybody was very excited. It's not too packed down here right now, but upstairs, it's, it's, it's a big place, and uh, it looks like it's going to get a lot of business. And we're going to see if we can put some Dolphins jerseys on those walls over your shoulder there to replace the right. jerseys that are there. Uh, Michael Irvin. Yeah. Geneva Brew, thank you for that live update from Miami Beach. Well, not even counting the restaurant, Jimmy Johnson will do well financially as coach of the Miami Dolphins, but his true pot of gold may lie in the advertising game. His name recognition and his popularity make him unnatural as a pitch man. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Schumacher looks at Johnson's marketability. You'd have to work pretty hard to get the smile off of Ralph Sifford's face. I do feel like I hit the lottery. Hi, I'm Jimmy Johnson. Sifford is the winner of the Jimmy Johnson Product Endorsement Derby. He landed the new Dolphin coach seven months ago as pitch man for his grand prize old Chevy dealership. This is the Corvette uh, that we did all of the commercials with. I felt right around June or July when I started airing my commercials that he would become the coach um, after this year. I just had the ESP working. Now his ad campaign is working. Here's how closely people identify Sifford's car store with Johnson. Over 200 people called to ask us if Jimmy was going to become the coach on the day that Shula retired. Now, Ralph Sifford considers himself pretty lucky because he signed Jimmy Johnson to a one-year contract last summer with an option for a second year. That was before all of this current hoopla even started. He probably couldn't afford Johnson now. I don't know of anyone who wants to market a product or uh, an institution that wouldn't like to have him on their team. According to public relations man Otis Ragg, Johnson has two things that make it easy for a salesman to sell himself. He's a proven winner on the field. He's well known in the community. And that means money over and above his multi-million dollar Dolphin contract. Uh, I think doubling his salary will be an easy thing to do, but I have no idea what the upper limit might be. Doubling his salary, and he hasn't even coached a Dolphin game yet. I'm Mark Schumacher, Channel 10, Eyewitness News.